last video, I said I wasn't sure what we'd be doing next because it was just depending on how I'm feeling. And I'm feeling like keeping the baseball run going. As you can see, we've got this retail preferred box of 2022 Panini Chronicles. Gonna be looking for rookies like these guys on the front, Torkelson and Witt Jr. But the big thing, you can find two autos or memorabilia cards per box. These are loaded with inserts, find two exclusive Obsidian Electric Etch. Carolina Blue Parallels, a variety of rookies for more than 25 iconic brands. Like I said, loaded with inserts in here, loaded with rookies, but the big thing, two autos or memorabilia cards in each box. We did a box of these last year, and it was the first time I ever did a retail preferred box. And we actually hit what at that time was the biggest hit ever pulled here on the channel with a Jonathan India Obsidian rookie autograph card so we're gonna see if we can't beat that today here is a look at the massive list if anybody could even make this out of what all could possibly be found in here but some of the other notable rookies of course O'Neill Cruz for the Pittsburgh Pirates will be looking for him and Wander Franco as well there we get a look at this nice looking pristine box six cards per pack and only six packs in these box so Basically, you are paying $10 per pack, so looking to hit something nice here. Of course, the box we did last year, we had one Relic and the India Auto, so we will see what we have in store for this one. Perhaps we'll get one of each again, maybe two Autos. That would be very sweet. I don't know if every box is always one of each, but that's just my experience. Again, as we get a look at the packs here, and I don't see any kind of odds or listing what could be found on the packs. Oh, there it is. Very small print. But I already showed it off to you guys, so the hell with it. Let's just skip it. But again, I'm feeling baseball today, so let's pull some sweet stuff here. This is going to be pretty much mostly all inserts if it's anything like last year's box. So this is technically an insert. Hans Kraus Pinnacle Rookie Insert. That is... Uh, what is that, like the 91 Pinnacle design? Looks like 91 Pinnacle design. Next we've got Colton Welker, Recon. I don't know if this is a hollow. Let's say it on the back here. I guess they all look that way. Some thicker card stock for Colton Welker there. Manuel Rivera, Certified. I don't think a Prism or anything like that. Next, what do we got here? Clearly Donruss, Luis Gill for the New York Yankees. Phoenix, Shane Boz for the Rays. And then Ian Happ, Panini Revolution. And just regular old Revolution, not a prism or anything like that. Tough to tell on those Revolutions. But a couple of decent rookies in there. No hit just yet. I guess we'll just make a rookie pile. And if it's anything like last year's box again, then it's going to be mostly rookies in here, so hopefully we can find one of each of the big four, at least anyways. And speaking of the big four, right on top here, O'Neill Cruz, Panini Essentials, rookie insert with the rainbow foil on there. This is the first O'Neill Cruz I've ever pulled, so that's a pretty good one, I would say anyways. Best rookie we've found so far, I'll feature that one. And here is just the base Chronicles design. Freddie Freeman for the Dodgers. That's still incredibly weird to me. Another Pirates rookie, Rowan C. Contreras with a big printing line right down the middle. Going from top to bottom, so that's kind of unfortunate. Here's our first Obsidian. I'm I don't know if perhaps this is uh, the electric etch. It's Sean Murphy, not a rookie. I don't think that's the electric etch Carolina Blue that was advertised. And then another one of the big four. We didn't find Wander in our last modern box, but we've got one of him so far here. Contenders Optic Wander Franco rookie card insert. Again, not Prism or anything, but... So many Wanders pulled for us in the last, uh, pretty much on everything 2022. Only a couple boxes we didn't see him. 
And last one, Aaron Judge. Two obsidians in one pack. Again, I don't believe that is the Carolina Blue. I don't see any Carolina Blue on there, so we should still have two of those to go and four packs remaining. I'd say pack number two was much better, had O'Neill Cruz and Wander Franco in that pack, so no complaints there. Still looking for our hits, with a lot of these inserts being thicker. It's very tough to tell which packs the hits will be coming in. But first one here, Patrick Mazeka. I'm not sure what this is. Vertex. I am not familiar with Vertex. Another Shane Bass Marquee. We've seen a lot of those when we did uh, Chronicles Hoops. Mookie Elite. Pretty nice one there. And here's our first hit. It is, I thought it might be an auto for a second, but it's Cal Rally rookie card. Relic, piece of white jersey in there. I wonder if uh, this is gonna be actually game used. But let's check out the back of it. A lot of these relics in Panini say that they're not necessarily worn by this player pictured, but that one does not say that, so. Very nice, hopefully our next one is an autograph. Now that we've got our first hit. And another Obsidian, Brandon Marsh, rookie this time. Again, doesn't look Carolina Blue to me, so. We've had three Obsidians thus far, I don't know. Maybe there was perhaps a mistake made by Panini, or I'm just not noticing the Carolina Blue. I think I would pick up on that pretty quick because that's always been my favorite color kind of similar to some of the color on the packs here, but next pack, first up, Alex Bregman Zenith. Again, thicker card stock and rainbow foil there. And there's Torkelson, so we've seen three out of the four the big names that we mentioned there. That is the Threads design. Here's another certified Gavin Sheets. Lots of shiny rainbow foil in these retail preferred boxes. Seth Beer, clearly Donruss. Jackson Coar, Kansas City Royals rookie card. Crusade, and then the last one, Romy Gonzalez for the White Sox. Phoenix uh, Hollow or Prism, whatever they're calling them. But nice Torkels in there, as we're down to our final two packs. Again, I can't really tell which one might have the hit in there, and I don't know if it's a relic or an auto because the thickness of some of these other inserts really throws you off, so... I'm just drawing a blind guess on this pack here. Here is another Vertex. There is Jake McCarthy for the D-backs. Another Essential, or no, sorry, XR. We saw lots of those in our Chronicles Basketball as well. Bryce Harper. Always nice and shiny, those ones. Here is our next Elite, and another one with a printing line down the middle. What the hell, Panini? Two of those with printing lines, and this has got to be our next hit. It is Trey Sweeney for the Yankees, and it's an autograph, so very nice. And numbered, low numbered, 11 out of 25. I guess Contender's draft ticket green would be my guess, but let's go ahead and sleeve that one up. Admittedly, I'm not super familiar with Trey Sweeney, but uh, a low numbered auto out of 25, a uh, lower number than uh, the India auto we got from 2021 Chronicles Retail Preferred. So again, just like last year's box, we got one of each, with one more pack left to go, a couple more here in this pack, Jose Siri Titan, saw that one again last year. And then Jordan Alvarez Spectra. Spectra Prism or Spectra Hollow. It says Prism on the back, but sometimes they're called Hollow. Again, not sure. And that brings us to our last pack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. I'm not sure that I, I don't know, maybe I got $60 worth. I'm not super familiar with Trey Sweeney, like I said, so I don't, I don't know what the value on that card would be. But uh, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it, even though no Red Sox yet. What the hell? Let's see if we can't get one here. 
That is got to be the most bland of all the inserts. Classics. <laughs> Jacob de Grom, compared to all the shininess of everything else. Lucius Fox. He should be busy with Batman, but he is playing baseball, I guess. And is this a Carolina Blue? I'm not really seeing much Carolina Blue in there, but Gavin Sheets Obsidian and Shohei Otani Crusade. Uh, Crusade. Another cool one there. And our last one, Mike Bowen, Titan Rookie Guard. So that is it for 2022 Panini Chronicles Retail Preferred Box. I'm going to say um, probably last year's box was better, just off memory, but we did find three out of the four big four rookies that we had mentioned at the start of the video. We didn't come across Bobby Witt Jr., but a nice stack of other rookies as well. And then here were the hits, Cal Rally, Relic, and Trey Sweeney autograph numbered out of 25. So very cool regardless, even if the, uh, I guess, monetary value might not be the same as last year's box. But again, if you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you like this one, and of course subscribe if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet. We will finally take a uh, baseball break next time around, I promise guys. We've done quite a few baseball uh, boxes recently. So we'll switch it up with some modern hoops. We will check out a uh, product that we just saw recently in the baseball form. We'll be checking out the basketball form of that one next. So if you want to see what that is, make sure you come back next time.